Okay guys, another painting video here for you um, from Stars of Vicarious. This time it's the Ronan's uh, turn. We've got some scouts and a frigate. Uh, this is from Stars of Vicarious using the Citadel Contrast paints. Um, so I'm going to start the video and then we will... Um, I'll talk through what I did. So we're starting with the Ayandan yellow. Um, such a good contrast paint by the way, an essential. Um, yellows are quite hard to do without uh, contrast paints or speed paints. Um, and this is really easy, just really just plaster the um, the front, this the kind of shield part of the, the honeycomb shield part of the miniature. Uh, so I do this for all four. Um, again, sped up four times as per usual. So for all of these ships, we're talking about probably two hours, I think. overall so um, if not a little bit more so now the yellow has a slight bit of an orange tinge to it anyway uh, the way the yellow kind of um, has those different um, tones so that kind of lends itself a little bit um, but to get it that real kind of blend as it were I made sure I did this before uh, before um, it dried so I've slowed the video down here uh, to show what I was doing so I'm getting the blood hound orange and uh, going with the paint on the brush at the start then not putting new paint on and just going up the model I take off the paint from the brush there and then just brush that into the yellow now the yellow is still wet so it will kind of blend in now you can do blending with uh, using contrast medium as well that can help sometimes um, especially if you've got one color that you want to blend and tone down um, then um, the contrast medium is perfect for that whereas this is blending two colors together so sped it back up again to do it on the other ships and it gives a really nice blend uh, I, re I was really pleased with the uh, result this is kind of how I do fire as well by the way so there I'm putting the contrast medium on be just because uh, the yellow had started to dry um, so by putting the contrast medium on you, you're able to give that kind of gradient blend to the orange so here we go again with the contrast medium. Right, that's the front of the ship's done. Uh, just making sure. Uh, just, just wanted to make sure it's, it's it was orange enough. Um, I wasn't. I wanted it a bit more orange than what had come out. So I'm just putting a second coat here, certainly to the bottom part, um, to make to make it look a bit more orange and distinguish it between the kind of uh, the frigate, which is pure yellow. Right, Blood Angels red next. Do I do that? No, I don't. Um, no, so we do the yellow here um, on the little hexes that are on top of the ship. I don't think I bother with uh, orange here, do I? No. Right, so that's the bit done. Now we move on to the actual body of the ship. Now if you look at the reference art... Hang on, let me just move my... Whoops. Okay. So if you look at the reference art down the bottom right there, you notice there's this kind of like turquoise color as well as gray. So what I did is I got a Killian green, which is what I'm putting on the palette here. And I mixed that with equal parts of Griff Hound gray. Which you can see going on here. Now, uh, this was just an example of mixing with contrast paints. Um, so I normally do it in a well palette, but I just decided to do it on the open palette here. It was a really hot day, so so again, uh, the chances of it drying were quite quite high. But now, to uh, to, to finish off the miniature, um, I needed to put them onto stand, so I could easily access it and not be holding and touching the paint that I just put on. So this is that mix. So it just, it just dulls the Achillean green a little bit. Achillean green is a really nice, vibrant turquoise. Uh, I just want it dulled down just a tad, just a tad. Uh, I still wanted this comic book feel to, to my miniatures. Um, and I went about this to paint the whole of the base miniature with this green. Now, you'll notice uh, I was actually, like going through this, um, at this stage, you, 
I, 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 was, I was quite skeptical. Um, and that's always the problem with painting is before you finish the miniature, it may not look right, but you've just got to trust, just trust in the process and wait until you finish the miniature because I was really pleased, really pleased with how the, um, the scouts turned out. They're slightly different to the, um, to the art, to the art reference art on the, on the card there. But, um, when you'll see when it's finally finished, um, it works out really well. It looks very colorful at the moment. Um, so this is Basilican and Grey, which is your standard, sorry, which is your standard Grey. And, oh no, no it wasn't, that no, was the Blood Angels Red. Blood Angels Red, here we go. So I'm just putting in the red accents of the windows and whatever they are on the ship, which we've got there. Now just to note, uh, not in this video, but later on when I painted the other Ronin um, scouts, I actually went with a, a pure red um, just normal acrylic paint base paint from Citadel uh, for all of these accents because this was too dull this wasn't bright enough for me but I'll leave it like this on this particular mate model in the painting but just to point out for the final thing I made sure that I put um, I put a brighter red for the, the these accents and it, and it really did improve it a lot so um, just doing those red accents and little windows and think whatever they are and then we're moving on to the basilicum gray so this is where i block paint well certainly paint quite a bit of the the section near the shield the hexagonal shield um to basically outline all the bits that aren't actually the hexes and then just picking out parts of the ship um, to, to go with this grey because I wanted a good mix of grey and this Achillean green. So here you can see that I'm, um, I'm just uh, picking parts out, uh, getting that basilicum grey on there. And, you know, I, I, you know, I would say 60-40 probably in terms of coverage of the grey to Achillean, which from the reference art is far less but I I thought with the reference art, it looked as though it was at a certain angle and there would be a more, more Achillean green in there. Could be wrong, um, but that's what I decided to do. So here you can see I'm kind of like uh, uh, shadowing what I did on the other side. I'm really focusing on that section near the, um, near the shield. Apologies again for the miniature going underneath. Uh, th this was all done in the same paint session, um, all of these ships. So um, there's a reason why uh, that's the case. But as you can see, um, just really breaking up the ship by using the grey at certain parts to give it a really cool look. I was really chuffed with how this looked. And relatively quick as well. I mean, this didn't take too long. Um, I think about, I don't know, half an hour, 40 minutes. And now, and now we're um, picking out all of the indentations and the lines. A thinner brush here. And just taking one side at a time, as you can see, going down and then doing the different angles finish all the hex skins this ah, oh, this made this made that shield it really did pop after doing this um so i think it's worth taking the time and um and doing this again if you make a mistake you just go over the thumb and and it should um and it should take out anything which has gone above now the other side so this took a little little time um this is where most of the time was spent As you can see, but uh, really good effect, and obviously very similar to the reference art, of course. There we go. Uh, zoomed in here just so you can see a little bit more. And now we're doing 
We'll, now we'll do the uh, little spikes, which are also grey. Just be a little bit careful when you do these. Try not to go over the, all that work you did spent on the hexes. Again, because I'm using um, contrast paints, uh, if you if you want to raise anything, water on the brush, go over it. It'll pick up that paint, and then you just use your br dry brush and use the brush to pick up the paint, uh, and it's like an eraser. Okay, so now moving on to the frigate. So this is just pure yellow, which is nice and easy. So uh, good coverage of a Yandan yellow over the whole uh, lot, the whole front. And not forgetting the little hexes on the side. I did actually forget at this point the little hexes on the next engines. Um, then we're going in with um, a Killing Green. And this time I decided not to mix it. I decided just to go straight in with the Killing Green uh, to save time. And I'm doing it slightly different here. You'll notice I'm not painting the whole thing in a Killing Green. I decided to go for a slight different approach where I'm going to pick out details with the Killing Green and then um, work through that way. So here you can see I am picking out some of the details using the reference art to help. Um, and it's just, it's just, you know, just going with feel. Just, just go with it. Don't be afraid too much. Just attempt what you want to try and do. Okay. And again, this took this ship took quite a while. Um, I'd say probably about forty five minutes to do this one ship. not closer to an hour and now we're getting the red accents again now the reason why I did it this way was because I thought well if I do the red accents this way then uh, they're gonna be brighter because they're over the race brain spray rather than um, rather than over the killing green uh, by the way this is all miniatures sprayed with wraith bone spray from Citadel uh, again by far my favorite uh, primer when using contrast paints So the red accents continue to go on. And then uh, I did notice that there was some red accents for the spikes, so I made sure they were on. Okay, so that's the red. Now, now we go on to the basilicon and gray. Now this one took a bit longer because uh, you'll notice that, uh, well, number one, it's bigger so there's more area to cover but also um, I wanted to get some different tones of the grey so you'll see in a bit after I do the initial pass through with just the grey just make sure to not hit the tops of the hexagon the kind of honeycomb um, shield I'm just go around the edge here again apologies about it sometimes being on the other side So again, just use my finger if I go over the top. And now we're going in and doing all the rest. So this is a lot to cover. Uh, now the, the problem with um, painting um, the details in first and then going over the bulk of it means that you've got to be a little bit careful around those details so not to cover them because the gray will literally cover them. Um, so I, it, that took a little bit more time to, to be a little bit more careful to, to go around those details this time through. So here you see, I take off the base so I can actually get to the bottom here. Uh, and it's a big, big miniature, so there's plenty to hold on the miniature as well. And now we can go back to it. Egg. Re, re uh, washing my brush and um, uh, re shaking the pot to get more paint out um, and make sure the paint doesn't stick to my brush and ruin the brush. And slowly going around the miniature. So this did take a long time, um, probably something like 15 20 minutes. 
I would say to do just this gray um, but that's fine I, I think it's important to be a little bit careful to try and um, not ruin the work that you've already done with the detail and everything the other way you could do this of course is you could literally just real quick go through with basilicum and gray get some uh, wraith bone or white pro um, uh, just normal base paint and then just paint all the details with that and then go over with the colors so that's a different route you can take especially if you that'll probably be easier in hindsight um, than what I've done here because you have to be kind of careful where you're putting the gray right you don't want to ruin the, uh, the stuff that you've already done Now again, I, I did go over this again with the reds uh, to, to, to get some, them to really pop, which is not on this video. And as we get towards the tail end, I know I noticed at this point that there are some actual um, honeycomb pieces on the other engine. Just getting this back end. There's quite a lot of grey on this back end, so that was a bit quicker. And there we go. So you notice the honeycomb bits there. Right, so with that done, we now move on to outlining the uh, the honeycomb, the, the shield. And I get a smaller brush here just so I can get in. Not quite as small as the one I was doing on the uh, scouts. And uh, doing all the details. Just notice that my finger there. You notice um, if I'm getting over the um, over the face of it, just use your finger. It'll rub straight off. Don't rub too hard because you'll rub the yellow off as well. Um, but this really making it, you know. Um, and this is a bit better. They're quite thick. The uh, grooves, so a bit more easy to get your paintbrush into those and get those done. And I wasn't spent. I wasn't spent. You know, being really, really meticulous with this. Again, I'm not trying to win competitions. I just want it to look good on the table. And just getting rid of all the white. Okay. Then I, re I think I realise what's next. So next, I realized that some of the shields on the body are needed doing. So that's what I mean. Just get some white, uh, just paint over it, and then you're ready to go again. So I was just comparing uh, slight differences between the two. So this one's a lot more gray, and just with the kind of Achillean turquoise accents, whereas uh, the other one was more Achillean with, um, with gray accents. There we go. And now I'm doing some detailing with basilicum and gray. So after the base coat's kind of like um, dried, we're going to go over a second coat to, you know, split up and break up um, the body of the ship. It's a big ship, so it kind of needed this. And just doing again block block shapes, block colors, uh, following the reference art to a point. Um, just to get some more definition into the ship. Especially around those uh, those honeycomb kind of uh, shields. Just doing some detailing there. And I'm pretty happy at this point. It's just, uh, as I say, just, just detailing those honeycombs. A um, bit of hard coat on the front, obviously, to give that um, shiny look. Uh, kind of doing each individual hex here because they're a lot, they're a lot bigger, and they've got. I didn't really want to get the shiny bits on the, on the separator parts, the grooves. And there we go. 
Now for the back, oh, I didn't put this into the um, into the notes. So, so I, if you notice here, I put white on where the engines are. And for the engines, I'm going to use a special paint. It's uh, it's a technical paint, which I don't show. That's a bit of a shame. Um, there we go. And um, that paint uh, effectively kind of glows because uh, I wanted to have like glowing engines sh to show kind of movement, I guess. And I, I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of that of that glowing thing. I'll put it in the description below. Um, but just to finish off, so again, I went back over with the red accents on this one. But that was the Ronan Scout and Ronan Frigate. Obviously, for the Scout, I put the Ardco over, eventually over the uh, the shield side of that too just to finish that off um but I, I was i was especially pleased with the scouts actually with the higher amount of a killing green and also i think what happened is putting the basilican and gray over, over the Achillean green obviously gave it a kind of a turquoise hint to the gray which also helped as well so you know i I'm still pleased with the frigate. I still think it's quite cool. Um, but probably with this second, there's two frigates in the game that you've got. Uh, probably the second frigate, I might go back to how I did the scouts. I just really, really like the scouts. Uh, how the, how that that colour really shines through. Um, that was painting the Ronan uh, scouts and frigate. I hope you enjoyed. And again, stay tuned for more videos, more painting videos um, linked to Stars of Acarius and other games. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.